How many times have you had where you want to walk away from your computer, but you don't want it to time out? If you're frequently just, you know, have interruptions, you don't want the thing to have to, you don't want that log in every time you come back. So you want to, you want to just somehow like leave something that would maybe sort of jiggle the mouse back and forth to keep the computer alive. Well, there's an easy way to make such a thing using the Arduino student kit. The, you know, the, the primary thing you need here is the Arduino as the brains, but then the, the one component you need is a little servo motor. So the Arduino will control this little servo to move this little control horn back and forth, and we can hook this up with a paper clip to drive something to push the mouse, or actually effectively just move a paper under the mouse. So let me just show you how this is going to work. So here, here's my actually final design to show you how I did it. Let me show you how it's going to work. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to position my mouse about where I want it. I'll go to my d device and hit a reset, which will center the, center the servo. And then it gives you a certain amount of time to position the mouse. And then you can see on the screen how as this little servo motor moves, it pulls this little paper underneath the mouse and it looks like the mouse is actually moving on the screen. And it's kind of cool if I pos position the mouse right over those commands at the top, the little tool tips pop up and it kind of looks like someone's kind of like looking and thinking at the tools to see which one they want to use. So. Be aware, there's a security risk to this. You don't want to leave your computer unattended where someone else could walk up to it and, and do something that you don't want. So you want to make sure your computer is like in a locked house or in a, in a locked office where no one is going to, going to goof with it while, while you're away. But there's many times that you just want it not to, not to time out on you. For example, one case would be and a lot of people don't do this, but you might use the same computer to be controlling a 3D printer. And you don't want the computer to time out and shut the printer down. So if you just have something to jiggle the mouse, you'll make sure the, com the computer doesn't time out with ha without having to go into the settings and make sure it doesn't time out that way. So let me show you my, my first prototype using the Arduino student kit was basically take a, a piece of foam board, fasten the Arduino to it, and I've, I've got the Arduino hooked up to this little servo motor. Now I've got it, this, you can power it either with USB or with a 9 volt battery. For now I'm going to just plug in this 9 volt battery. And the servo program, it, it, initially when I push the reset, it will center the servo and then go to one side and move back and forth from, from that position. So I can kind of find a, a centered position on the screen and let the servo move the mouse back and forth. So the, the, the code to make this work is, is really quite simple. Let me bring that up here. In fact, I've got it in in Tinkercad. Let me show this so you can see it better. So basically there's a th few things you need to do. We need to use, a, we're going to use a library to con called, a, a called Servo, which has the brains in it to know how to control the pulse width modulation to control the servo. I'm going to declare a mouse servo object using that servo library and eventually I'm then going to, I'm going to attach that mouse servo to pin number nine. Now so I'm using pin number nine as one of the pulse width modulated pins. You could use any one of them. I just happen to pick number nine. And then in the code there's it's basically very short. There's a loop within a loop. So in the inner loop I'm moving the little servo in, in one degree steps. And then in the outer loop, we pause about every 10 degrees to let the mouse stop 
so that the tooltip has time to come up. It just makes it look a little, a little more realistic like it's doing something. And then at each pause, we delay a certain amount of time. And then to slow the thing down, at each one degree step, we delay a short amount of, amount of time. So that's, so that's basically it for the, for the code. Um, now to, to kind of refine my design a little bit, after making the, the prototype work, I thought I wanted to make it a, a little fancier. So I've, oops, I made a, a 3D printed shape. So I printed up basically a board with a place to hold the Arduino, a place to hold the servo, and a, and a kind of a hollowed out place for a slide. And I made a little slide piece, a separate piece that slides in here. You know, it's made so it's, and if you can see very well, it's like kind you know, of a captivated shape but using an angle so that I can print it without supports. And then I just, between my servo and this, I can just use a paper clip or a piece of wire to, to make a little, little linkage. Um, a, another refinement in the, in the code is I, I changed this, just, I added a little more nicety. I defined a variable for the two angles at the at different endpoints. It, it's kind of nice not to go all the way to zero and all the way to 180 because it doesn't like move the mouse very much in, in those positions. It kind of like locks up. So I, in this program, I only ran it from 20 degrees to 160 degrees. And I used a random time in the loop. So the amount of time we pause at each stop point, I've set it to be random between one second and three seconds, and I can, I can vary that. And the actual speed, I've put, I've put a random number. This is the, the delay in milliseconds that we wait at each one degree step just to slow it down so it doesn't move too fast. If, if you move the mouse too fast, you get into this, this setting called acceleration of the mouse and it moves farther. So if you move it faster in one direction than the other, it doesn't stay centered. So it's kind of nice to keep, keep it moving slowly, more like, like you would actually do it. Now, you might wonder about the cost. Now, so my, my prototype, I made it using the parts from, from the Arduino student kit. But say if I wanted to make this and keep it, I wanted to actually buy the parts and make a new one. You can, it's pretty cost effective. So the you can buy a micro center from made by Inland. It's a kind of a clone Arduino that costs $9.99. It's kind of one of the best bargains at micro center, I think. And then for the servo motor, I mean, you can buy these at hobby shops and stuff, but they sell them at, again, at micro center. It showed up on the web as $4.99. It was marked $6.99. It actually rang up at the counter at $4.99. So it's about five bucks. And if you don't have a USB cable to to for power, you can you can buy these again for for about three bucks. So it's about eighteen bucks of of stuff altogether to, to make a permanent little mouse jiggler that you can s set your mouth down and have it have it move back and forth without without timing out. So cool. That's that's about it. Um, if if you actually want to steal my parts, I've I've put these all on Tinkercad. My 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 design is here. It's in a public file called Keep Alive. There, there's you can download these and and print them if you want. And the circuit, it's a this basic little simple circuit is also in a circuit area of Tinkercad, also called Keep Alive. So take those two parts together, you can make this thing exactly as I've got it. And you can make the other refinements to your to your code that, that, that you want. But it should kind of work as is. All right, cool. That, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks.